Next question is going to be about shadows. Now, we have learned that light travels in straight lines. We have done this in the questions before this. When light is completely or partially blocked by an object, okay, we know that a shadow is formed. Now, this object can be opaque objects, which blocks light completely, or translucent objects, which partially blocks the light. Uh, when these two objects are blocking the light, shadow is formed because light travels in straight lines and cannot go around the object. Okay, And uh, we know that when uh, the light is blocked, shadow is formed. And the shadow is therefore the dark area formed by an object blocking a light source. Alright, so we need to know this. We need to be very sure that we understand these three facts, okay, these three concepts before we proceed to the question. All right, so this is an example of a question that uh, you can be tested on when it comes to the topic of shadows. Now, Patty conducted an experiment with a torch, a wooden block, and a white screen as shown below. Torch was placed at different distances, so the torch will be moved. And as the torch moves, we would like to see what happens to the shadow being cast on the screen. Alright, now, so uh, I'm going to just show you an example. This is where three, uh, what do you call it, three uh, position of the, of the torches. One is very near and the other very far and another that is in the middle. So how this works is that the light will travel in straight lines but if there is an opaque object, for example in this cube, it will be blocked. So any light that travels through uh, uh, from the torch will be blocked, right? Because it travels in straight lines. Now, but it just does not just travel in straight lines horizontally. It can also travel at an angle, right? but still at a straight line. So, for example, the light that comes from this end of the torch can still travel to this end and therefore will not be touching the screen, right? Uh, likewise, the, the light from this end can also travel this part and it will not even touch the screen. Now, the light that re goes here can still, be, can still be seen on the screen and so on until it reaches this point. Now, when it reaches this point, this is the last point that the light can travel to before that can that can still be reached by the screen. Once it goes down here, it can't. It will immediately stop here. All right. So the last point in which the light can travel and can reach the screen uh, in a straight line will be this point here, just here. This is the most important part, you see. Now, if you can see this, that means, right, uh, the light will be start to, will be blocked from this point. Now, this is what is seen on this surface of the screen. I'm going to draw it on this side so that you can see that this is what you will see if your eyes is on this side. You can, if you can see the screen on the other side, from this side here, you can see this shape being formed on the screen. Now, likewise, if you put the torch closer to the uh, to the cube, what you will see is that the angle in which the light can pass through without being blocked will be more. And if I were to uh, draw the shape of the cube here, you can see that it gets bigger. Alright, so even by moving it just slightly, okay, you can compare the two distances here. Moving the torch just slightly this side until it reaches this point will change the shadow, uh, the shadow of the cube, right? The size of the shadow of the cube, making it much bigger. Now, what happens if we were to draw the ang the if we were to put the the uh, torch much much closer to the cube then you will see that the shape of the shadow will be much much bigger okay because this is a cube right so you must have uh, both sides so as you can see that the 
uh, as you move the torch closer to the object okay as you move the torch closer to the object you will see a bigger shadow forming all right now so with that uh, let's compare to this question again you can see that uh, w has a smaller shadow whereas uh, if the torch is moved to the position z it has a bigger shadow so if this is w then where would z be we know that the closer the torch is to the wooden block the bigger the shadow would fall onto the screen all right so this is quite a straightforward question uh we will be we will be doing for my p4s we will be doing this experiment uh, in the coming weeks all right so this is something is an introduction to you but you will see it uh you know doing uh, while we well we do when we do the hands-on activity you will see that this is true all right we can even do this in class as you, if you can see uh much later on uh when i if i have the projector on the class projector the one that is hanging from the ceiling if i put my hand closer to the uh light source you will see that the size is much different much bigger from uh, the shadow if i were to move it away from the light source okay so uh we will be doing this in class as well as uh, in the science lab uh hands-on activities but just note that this would be an introductory uh, video for you on this topic of shadows and the source of uh, and the distance of the source of light to the object now, uh, just as a reminder, if you don't understand, do repeat it again. That's the whole idea of having videos. Uh, remember to active listen, uh, act listen actively. Uh, take notes, all right? Uh, make up your own visual representative of the concepts that you know, also known as a mind map. Okay, send me questions, write, the com write in the comments below. And if you can, right, make your own video all right of any question in your recent semestral examination in your past semestral or continual examination send it to me and you know share your learnings with everyone and become an effective communicator okay thank you very much